Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today we are going to speak about the very interesting motorcycle BMW R1200GS In German you say BMW it stands for Bayerische Motorwerke Yeah, it is not a funny term It's not to make go and fun, laugh, ha 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 Okay, let it be BMW But today we are going to speak about this motorcycle in particular, the new one and why I don't like this motorcycle. I don't hate this motorcycle, but I think this motorcycle sucks and I don't like it and I think you don't need it for the motorcycle adventure trips. Probably I will have lots of dislikes on this video, but if you were my channel before, probably you might have seen the video where I was test riding the BMW GS 1200. I really liked this motorcycle by that time, so I wanted this motorcycle to be my next uh, Enduro motorcycle. I have the Honda VTX, it's a cruiser motorcycle, and also for me, I want a second motorcycle, it will be some kind of adventure Enduro motorcycle. I like this motorcycle by that time, but after some research I found out this motorcycle is not what I want and this motorcycle is basically uh, not good for adventure rides. First reason why I don't like this motorcycle is because it's not quite safe and it's always undeveloped. Before in previous versions they used to have the problems with the uh, shaft drive, with the uh, rear suspension, if you use it on a hard off-road, sometimes it just broke, can break apart. And on a new motorcycle, uh, till 2017, they have a problem with the front fork, so it's upper part and uh, fork, they have some issues. So this guy will explain you more. The recall's about a little bit of play that can happen in the joint of the press fitted fork stanchion plug that lo it locates in a rubber bush at the top of the yoke and that's starting to generate some play between itself and the top of the stanchion tube. You can see that there's a rubber cover that covers that joint and that joint is the issue. The whole thing started from the motorcycle enthusiast called Tony so he filmed the video, it's uh, free on YouTube, you can watch it uh, so he was riding his motorbike and his fork just torn apart while the riding on the road. So he fell down, he broke his ribs, other bones and he was in a hospital for a very long time. He was writing to the many letters to the BMW asking for some kind of compensation and state that their motorcycles are undeveloped and the fork construction was undeveloped and it has the problem that can lead to damage of the motorcycle for injuries and even for death. The BMW was ignoring uh, these letters from Tony. So Tony asked everyone who is involved in this accident to write petition, everyone who is concerned about the BMW products he asked everyone to write the petition to sign it and to send uh, to BMW. After this all hype raised about this all around this BMW GS forks, the BMW manage, management uh, started to realize that they have a problem. So before they didn't recognize, okay, one well, might crash, what hell happened, nothing, we have a beautiful bikes, but then everybody appeal to this problem they start to recognize it and they recall all the motorcycle they recall all the GS is still uh, 2017 year of production they install the different metal thing there and you can see here on a picture so they replaced the rubber uh, thing with the metal thing and that solved the problem completely as simple as that but guys, this is a very serious issue and I think the problem is not really solved because you can buy this motorcycle on the aftermarket, you can buy it on eBay, you can buy it from other motorcyclists and you can ride it and you will never know the problem other than the internet or someone will tell you that probably you'll have some problem with your fork, you will never know that you will have this problem because you are not in direct contact with uh, BMW officials, you you didn't buy this motorcycle officially, 
for example if you buy the new motorcycle of course you will have the message from BMW okay your motorcycle probably will have a problem so it needs to be recalled and will replace uh, this rubber thing and all and you'll ride successfully and nice but many riders buy these motorcycles um, used motorcycles and aftermarkets wherever and they will never know that they will have the problem so it's potentially dangerous motorcycle to ride and also guys very interesting thing that then Tony appealed to the BMW the BMW guys told him that it's his fault that motorcycle just broke apart because he probably hit some obstacle and last week they sent me a report to say that there was nothing that was the fault of the bike that caused this accident and that it had to do with me having some kind of incident where I must have hit something it's very funny because the BMW positioned their motorcycle on the market like adventure motorcycles we know adventure is just around the corner and no road is not a problem it's an invitation to go beyond, to go further, and to come back changed. Uh, I will put the screen. Now you can, it's a print screen just from their official website. It says this motorcycle can ride asphalt, off road, uh, rocks, or stones, as I understood from this message. And also, if you look at their commercial videos, of course, you'll find out this motorcycle for adventure rides. Tell me, guys, if you ride this motorcycle off road, will you hit some obstacles? Of course, you will hit some stones, holes, like every adventure ride, you will hit some holes. You know, it's not the road motorcycle, it's off road. It's BMW positioning, so it's very strange. Then they're telling you, you, it's, you are not right. You maybe hit some obstacle before, so it's your problem. It's very, very unrespectful, I would say, for the riders. So, guys, uh, that's the second part of our video. You may say that if I go now to the shop and I'll buy the BMW GS. Uh, our BMW R 1200GS from the shop, it will be completely safe. Of course it is! Now they are putting this uh, metal thing everywhere on their forks and it is very very safe to ride now if you buy the new one. But uh, tell me guys, this is adventure motorcycle and it has some problems with adventure. It's not really a thing for adventure. I was asking my friends and everyone who is riding uh, smaller motorcycles and they agree with me that for adventure rides it's not the best choice because this motorcycle is quite heavy and the heavy weight is the last thing you need for adventure rides. You are not buying an adventure motorcycle to ride on the highways. BMW GS uh, 1200 has uh, the powerful engine, it's big, it's good to ride on a highway, but you don't need really the powerful engine, you don't need this heavy weight to ride off-road or on secondary road, because that's all adventure spirit, this adventure philosophy, you will hit lots of kilometers on this GS uh, 1200, uh, riding up to I think 100 miles an hour so your, can be your average speed but what will you see what will be your adventure to go for adventure you need to go on secondary roads and your speed will be maximum 70 miles an hour probably even less up to zero sometimes uh, but this motorcycle uh, will not give you this satisfaction uh, 70 miles an hour you can hit with a 400cc motorcycle very easily so uh, also the second reason so the first reason uh, why I will not be, buy this motorcycle even though it will be perfectly good is the weight and the engine I don't really need it for adventure rides the second reason is the cost of this motorcycle in Ukraine here on most countries around Europe you can buy it for 24,000 euro for adventure type 
the adventure modification, I would say. Uh, you can buy for, I think, 12,000 euros uh, the Yamaha Tonary motorcycle. It's easy to ride, it's a very, very reliable motorcycle, even compared to many Japan motorcycles. You can buy Africa for 60,000 euros, you can buy uh, Yamaha Super Tonary for 70,000 euros and the same displacement volume 1200 cc so the same type of motorcycle but why you need to pay extra for uh, BMW GS I don't I don't really understand also the spare parts uh, for this motorcycle is very expensive and in promo video of course they will tell you that you need this spare parts in the same energy we help each other out with our hands, a spare part, or with a story. We ride a GS, so we never ride alone. Also, this motorcycle has some kind of security problem. If you go somewhere in a country with a high crime level, of course everyone will see you on this very expensive motorcycle and they will understand that you are capable to buy this type of motorcycle, so you probably have a lot of money. But if you ride like very cheap uh, Japan-made motorcycle, normally, normally people will not pay attention to you. Also, I don't really understand why BMW put this box arrangement on their adventure motorcycle. Of course, it's well controlled because the center of gravity put it down. But if you install this. Uh, cases, saddlebags, uh, the uh, off central case and you put all the things there, I mean your personal things, of course you will raise your center of gravity very high and adventure motorcycles they already have the high center of gravity. So it's not really anything matters the position of these uh, en engine cylinders because the weight of the cylinders with pistons is quite low compared to your luggage. But there is a very interesting thing that this box arrangement will give you. So then you fell down on the side with your BMW 1200GS, you'll scratch your cylinder head, probably you'll destroy the cover, you'll destroy the valves, even the camshaft. The good thing in it that the other cylinder will be still working, so you'll have 600cc adventure motorcycle. Of course for this type of engine you need to install the safety bars which will give you extra weight, extra weight for the heavy Enduro motorcycle. Also one more reason why you don't need this huge engine and this big motorcycle. The fuel consumption on this uh, 1200 GS is high and you need to have the good range. So you're reducing your range with the uh, high consumption of your engine. To compensate this thing they installed a bigger tank on this motorcycle that add some extra kilograms to your overall weight. If the price of this motorcycle was around $12,000, probably it would be worth it and I'll probably start looking for it because I really like the design and the look of this motorcycle, uh, all these forms, you know, I really like the style of this motorcycle. But now I'm looking for a little brother, BMW GS800, I think it's more oriented for adventure as BMW position this motorcycles type of motorcycle GS. I'm looking for um, 800 version and also I'm looking for Honda Africa and there will be coming the new uh, Tenere T7 now, the Yamaha Tenere is coming soon. So I'm choosing from these three types of motorcycle to become my next uh, adventure enduro motorcycles to see the world around me. And also guys, I suggest to you to look for the lower CC motorcycles because uh, the Cutty Multistrada, the KTM Adventure 1190, the BMW 1200GS, I think it's all just, uh, I don't know, advertisement for you to buy these big expensive motorcycles because they don't really give you more they are not adventure uh, motorcycle if we speak about the adventure philosophy. 
mostly the owners of these uh, motorcycles they can do what they usually do on Honda Gold Link, on uh, Harley Davidson and many other types of normal usual motorcycles because they always ride on the highways most of them of these uh, owners they never go to the uh, off-road roads so if you want a real adventure I would suggest you to buy uh, the motorcycle the light motorcycle with low CC engine uh, which will save you a lot of money and spend the rest uh, of the money which you might spend on an expensive bike to spend for your adventure. So now guys I hope you enjoyed this video put me a like or dislike if you're a BMW fan and you like BMW GS 1200 you can put uh, this finger down it's your choice but I really, really like this motorcycle I'm not saying this is shit motorcycle I'm saying it, this motorcycle is not for me it's not for adventure it has some issues and other stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video like it if you want and have a good time